Hey guys, this is Dan from HowToHeatPress.com and in this video I'm showing you how to create a curved text design in Cricut Design Space. We have a post on the blog which covers this as well, in which we create a design for an iron-on transfer for a baby onesie. So I'll leave a link in the description below for you to go and check that out as well. It just has a few more details about using the curved text feature. So this is the new 2020 Cricut Design Space, which is non-browser based. I'll show you how to do this design. I'll start by deleting it. And then I'll come over and we'll create a text box and enter our message in. Happy birthday, Jim. Jolly good fellow. Uh, now I do know a guy called Jim and he is a jolly good fellow, so this is in recognition of his jolly goodness. To curve it, we click up here, the curve button, if you will, and then we can curve it up or down. Now for this type of design, it curves right round so that the font is upside down in parts. And so this is quite a cool way to do it for a lot of designs, if that's what you're going for. So you can curve it right round, or you could do a big Happy Birthday Jim Jolly Good Fellow Rainbow if you wanted. But what I really want is to have Happy Birthday Jim on top, the right way up, and Jolly Good Fellow down below. So I'm going to make our curve disappear for a minute, put that back to zero, and we will delete or copy half of that message, bring that over here, we can make it a bit bigger now, and I'll duplicate it, and then enter the other half of the message. So now we can curve each one independently. Now if you were to do this manually, or just by eye, it can look a bit messy and a bit ugly. It's hard to get it right, in my experience. You can make a good show of it. I mean, is that bad? It's not too bad. But the best way to do it is to, first of all, make your text a different colour, or we'll make it yellow, click on the shapes and create a circle. Make the circle a bit bigger and place it over top and click on arrange and send to back. Now you can see everything quite clearly. What we're going to do is we're going to curve our message to the circle. Now if we had a smaller circle then the gap between the two would be less as well, so it's really up to you what proportions you want to have for your design. So that's pretty jolly good. If you ask me, happy birthday Jim. So once you've got that you can delete the circle and you're left with a design which is perfectly round. Now you can bring in a SVG image or do something else in the middle. I've got one I've prepared earlier. It's a fish. In fact it's a cooked fish SVG. Here we go. Because the Jim I know, he absolutely loves fish. He loves catching it, he loves cooking it, and he loves eating it, most of all. Happy birthday, Jim. Jolly good fellow. Now, if you want to have this fish and the two lines of text aligned, come up to a line and distribute horizontally and distribute vertically. It's important to use the distribute rather than the align or uh, center horizontally, center vertically, because that creates a bit of a jumble. So there you have it, that's how you 
do a curved text design in Design Space. Uh, one other thing I'll mention is that if you were going to cut this out in two colours, or for example the text in one colour and the fish in another, you would weld the two lines of text together and click on one if possible and then hold shift click on the other one and you've selected just the text there and then weld that together once it's welded it's welded and then you probably that you can see over here that the fish isn't all one image either which we would ideally like so we'll select that and weld that together to be cut in one colour. And then you would click on make it and that would be sent to your machine. You'd have two mats, one is your text and one is your SVG there, or your, your graphic. So that's all there is to it. If you've got any more questions or comments then please leave them down below. And it's also a good idea for you to subscribe and to like this video if it's helped you at all. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.